that, uh, wait, are you with, were you with two guys, a guy and a son? Huh? There was a guy <laughs> and a son. No, That's me. No, no, a different guy. He, they walked up here uh, an hour and a half ago. The club. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. There you go. That is Take a beautiful some. guitar. Thank you. National yeah. Duolian. Look at that guitar. Would you let it out of your hands so I can take a picture with it myself? Oh, I can't. I can't. This is, you could, you, any other thing, this is my baby. This, this is my only. I I'm can't. not going to touch it. I'm just going to hold it. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a Robert Johnson song. He sold the soul to the devil right up the road. So here we go. From my best friend, some joker got lucky, stored her back up again. You better come on in my kitchen, cause it's gone to be raining out. Well, now she gone. And she won't come back I took her last nickel Out her nation sack You better come on In my kitchen Cause it gone to be raining out Girl, she's long and tall, 
in the kitchen with her feet in the house. She got a up late last night at the Bad Apple and oh, I pooped this morning. I woke up late 7.30, 7.45, something like that. I never get up that late, you know me. Oh, I say you know me. This is the first time you're watching one of my videos. You don't. But, go back and watch some. I'm usually a really early riser. Anyway, oh, it's such a fabulous time. Sean um, was the, is the owner of the club, and he was the performer last night. And I'm going to find, where's that little slip of paper so I can give you his full name. All right. I'm trying to be better at this. Okay, so. Okay, so he calls himself Sean Bad Apple. Quote, unquote, bad. Um, at the Bad Apple Blues Club is where I was on Isaquena, Isaquena, it's a Indian name, and I am totally saying it wrong. Okay. Just no. I'm totally saying it wrong. Um, Isakena Avenue, um, downtown Clarkda Clarksdale. Clarksdale is where I am. Um, there are tons of blues clubs in this town and it just so happens that this weekend is like the first time they've been having live music again so my timing is awesome just saying um last night there were two places to go so the other place i didn't make it down there was um the hooker grocer and I decided to go to the Bad Apple because, I don't know, something about the Bad Apple attracted me. <laughs> um, and not only that, but it became, it came highly recommended by the guy over at, Roger is his name, over at the Delta Blues Folk Art Museum. It's called Cathead. So, yeah, I... Um, 
I am so happy that I chose this town as the place where I was going to spend money um, on entertaining myself and treating myself. Because as Sean said last night <clears throat> to one of the couples who came in, and I'll be honest with you, there were never more than six people in the club last night. Um, it was really quiet as far as that goes. Um, but, you know, Sean is the doorman, the bartender, the musician, <laughs> you know, the everything. Um, but he is the host with the most, I, I have to say. I, he even um, invited me to play. So I got to play a couple songs, and I know, I didn't record any of that. It, I just, I was a little surprised that he invited me to, so, because I play folk, not blues. Although, when I'm in it, sometimes it's bluesy folk. <laughs> but, <clears throat> oops, dropped my paper. Um, anyway, I'm digressing. Um... He just, it was, it was a wonderful experience. And he was saying that um, even during good times, this is the poorest area of Mississippi. And Mississippi's the poorest union. Or poorest state in the union. Right. So, maybe second to West Virginia, if that's, you know. But, um... But I don't know that much about West Virginia, so I'm not going to say anything about that. Um, I, you know, realize what it's like, right? He opened his club <clears throat> in March of last year. Yep. He had, like, two good weeks and then <laughs> it was over, right? Um, but he's, you know, loves this town, and he loves the blues. And I got a really great blues education last night. Um, I haven't looked at my footage yet to see what I picked up. I think I mostly just recorded him playing. Um, but uh, each, each area of Mississippi has its own kind of blues. And there's these little juke shacks all over the place. And as you saw at the opening, you see his, um, his juke shack, you know, um, he, when he was fresh out of high school, college, I don't know if he went to college, but around that age, he went to live with a blues musician. And in those days, and, and with the blues, it's often the case. If you have a hero, they'll invite you to come live with them. So you can basically be like an apprentice to them. Um, which is really incredible. I don't know. It wouldn't happen in any other form of music that I know of. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still morning, and I am dealing with my allergies so anyway, um, hi Nugget, oh, yeah, there's that too, mm. anyway, I, I'll, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, so, um, yeah, so this is, this is an area that's incredibly quote unquote depressed, why do I say quote unquote, because the people here are so kind. I've been treated with, I mean, people are so generous, so amazingly generous with their time, with their information, and just everything. Um, and I got the opportunity to meet a bunch of locals, la or a bunch, a couple locals last night, and um, born and raised, right? here and um, Sean is not. Sean came here from like the northeast corner of Pennsylvania. 
and even Roger at the Delta Blues Museum is a transplant from Ohio. But they came here and they would visit here all the time and they ended up just falling in love with the area and staying. Um, this is a really special place. And I would definitely say uh, it's it's a historical place. It's an historical place. You know, you <sighs> muddy waters grew up around here. I think I already said that. Um, but it, it's 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 got the music vibe, like beyond. And, and really heartfelt music. So I was going to go to another place called Hambones tonight. Um, however, I think Sean convinced me to go back to the Bad Apple. Because there's a guy who's going to be playing who's like a true old blues storyteller. And a guy who really emotes his music. And that's something that I identify with. I really love that. And um, I'm not so much into the showmanship. I am into the, the purity of the emotion that comes out of the music. And I'm really looking forward to that tonight. So I'm going to take you guys along for that because I think it's something that will help you understand what this area is all about. But I'm going to make it a separate video because otherwise it's just going to be too long. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah. Clarksdale, Mississippi. Put it on your to-do list of places to go and places to spend time. Um, they've been incredibly generous about like telling me where I can park and I should, I could stay here for the whole summer if I wanted to and not run out of places to park. Just saying. I mean, not that I'm going to, but that, that's, that's, the, I'm definitely coming back. So they have a festival every year called the Juke Joint Festival. Um, and I need to look up the dates for this year's, but they, Roger gave me a magnet for next year's. Because this year's, it's in April. So I'm, I think it's like April 17th. That's sticking in my head for a reason. But ish, right? So if you're interested, check it out. Um, I'll try to find the dates and put it below. Um, I'm coming back. I'm coming back here. This is a place that... Um, I mean, I've got to come back this way anyway when I come back from Texas to go north for the hot months. Um, but I, yeah, the hot months. I'm going to be in Texas during a hot month, June. Yikes. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to pass back this way because I want to come back for the music and I want to come back and say hello to everybody that I met. And, um... I just, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the vibe here, right? Like, I, yeah, that's the vibe. And I've already talked way too long. So, I can't say enough about this place. I think it is amazing. I am going to give you a grand tour in the next video. I think I'm going to do a series of videos just on this town, city. Um because it is worth it. It is a fabulous place and I want the world to know about it. Um, the world, my 146 subscribers, thank you. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna to contribute to my journey to keep me moving forward, um, you can do that below. I have links. Um, what am I going to paint here? I don't know. I have to figure that out myself. 
but there's a lot and I think it's going to be interesting to say the least. So, okay, I'm out today. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you next time. Bye.